The day Millicent found the world. Every morning, Millicent ventured farther into the woods. At first, she stayed near light, the edge where bushes grew, where her way back appeared in glimpses among dark trunks behind her. Then by farther paths or openings where giant pines had fallen, she explored ever deeper into the dim interior until one day she stood under a great dome among columns, the heart of a forest, and knew, lost. She had achieved a mysterious world where any direction would yield only surprise. And now not only the giant trees were strange, but the ground under her feet had a velvet nearness. Intricate lines on bark wove messages all around her. Long strokes of golden sunlight shifted over her feet and hands. She felt caught up in breathing in a great powerful embrace. A bird call wandered forth at leisurely intervals from an opening to her right. Come away, come away. Never before had she let herself realize that she was a part of the world and that it would follow wherever she went. She was part of its breath. Aunt Dolby called her back that time, a high voice tapering faintly among the farthest trees. Millicent, Millicent. And that time she returned, but slowly, her dress fluttering along, pressing back branches, her feet stirring up the dark smell of moss, and her face floating forward, a stranger's face now, with a new depth in it, into the light.